And on the eve of elections in Nigeria, voting stations are busy setting up for the big day. It's expected to be a close call between President Muhammadu Buhari and opposition leader Akitu Abaker. President Buhari was elected in 2015 as he pledged to defeat Boko Haram militants, corruption, and boost the economy. He faces fear competition from former Vice President Abu Bakar as fears grow about insecurity and the economy. Let's find out more about Saturday's elections when Africa's most populous country, Nigeria, will head to the polls. There are more than 70 candidates contesting the elections, but only two candidates have a real chance of winning. 76-year-old Muhammadu Buhari from the All Progressives Congress Party has campaigned on the promise that he'll take Nigeria to the next level. He also said votes would take place under a secure and peaceful atmosphere. He was elected as president in 2015 on the promise of fighting corruption and Boko Haram. But people say that he's failed to deliver on either promise. In the name of fighting corruption, he has been accused of mainly targeting the opposition. He was even nicknamed a slow Baba for his pace of work. In 2015, he took six months to appoint a cabinet. While in the 1980s, he headed the military junta, but now describes himself as a reformed Democrat. His health problems have raised concerns. Many questions whether he is fit to rule. He has made frequent visits to the UK for treatment. On record, he has made several factual mistakes during his interviews and has been called confused and powerless by critics. 72 years old Atiku Abu Bakr from the People's Democratic Party has promised to bring power to people. He was a vice president between 1999 and 2007. Before coming to politics, he established himself as a successful business person. During his tenure, he won backing for former military heads of state. He is seen as an energetic politician who could deliver. But he has faced several high-profile corruption allegations, including bribery trial of a United States congressman in 2009. However, so far, he has not been convicted in any of the corruption cases. <laughs> 